My background is in neuroscience, so we have to understand how the brain is organized, both uh, on the cellular level, but also on the molecular level. We need to really be able to uh, ask questions about the cells, their location, their molecular profiles, and that kind of helps us to understand function. And the main focus of my group is to uh, apply stomachs on human samples. Well, we started uh, quite early on uh, working with, with, uh, with stereoseq or stomachs, so we First, did a pilot experiment. We uh, want to present on the human protein atlas, we want to present the molecular and cellular organization of many regions of the human brain. We also investigate those regions in diseases. So we are focusing on frontotemporal dementia, ALS, uh, Alzheimer's disease, uh, Parkinson's disease. So we also include all those disease tissues as well to kind of really use the, the power and the resolution of the technology to be able to answer the questions about cell-cell interactions and about uh, things going wrong um, in a kind of more spatial setting. I think the, the kind of the strength of PGI is not molecular biology and, and, uh, and sequencing. So I'm a scientist, so I will always want to know every detail of my data. I've been looking at individual DNB positions in my, in, my, in my data because I want to understand how it's built up, what's there, what's missing. Um, so I really need to know it. And I think also my students, they have to understand exactly what's in there. And then we can start building and start extracting biology from it. So we really use the, the sequencing technology, the power, the, the kind of the, the throughput of, of BGI. We kind of did make sense that this gene is upregulated or downregulated, or we find this gene in this position or that position. So, uh, I think also one more thing is really great and I really appreciate is the, uh, the openness for collaboration. We are developing some of the new tools to do the cell segmentation and also we got help from BGI because I mean, we can make the tools and the principles and they can help us to make it faster and make it better and maybe implement it into, into the workflows uh, that are already available. So I think there's also a very nice, a nice interaction there as well. Great, so it has been a great collaboration with, with BGI.